Alright, remember this fella? Well, I had a problem the other day. That's all I had was the clunk. The, the keys weren't working. That's all you get. Clunk. You don't want the clunk. So you take it apart. I thought the problem might have been coming from under here. So I took off this bottom part. See the little rubber feet? The little rubber feet come off. That's what they look like. We'll take off the four little rubber feet. Like a soul. You won't believe what's inside. You have to see what's inside in order to believe it. So the rubber feet come off, but here's a problem. See this strap that goes around? It has to come off too. Just pick one side and do it. That's the best thing to do. And keep track of your screws. I already lost one of the rubber feet. There. Straps off. Now with a with this fella, this is a your utility knife. Be careful you don't cut yourself. And pry that puppy off right here. So. Oops. Pry that off. And then on the inside, set this aside. On the inside, I told you you wouldn't believe it. Look at that. Everything's looking good. But I couldn't get to the problem. The problem was on this other side. And I couldn't figure out how to get to it right away. But if you look close, there's four of them. Grab a hold of that thing and yank it. Twist and grab like that. It comes out. Take all four of those out. There's two on the back and two on the front. The snaps don't hold anything except for the strap, so you don't need to remove those. And keep track of your pins. You're almost there. Once you've removed the pins, pull the top off. Now check this out. Here's the inside. And when I opened it up, see this? That was loose on both sides, so this thing was actually clunking around on the inside. Once you loosen the screws, then the little lever, the lever will move. See how it moved? And then you can pull the whole thing out. So there's the inside of it. If this isn't up against that, you're not going to get any good noises. What I found, the best way to do is upside down, because then you can move the move the pieces over into place and then screw them down tight but not over tight that's the trick Tight. There we go. Now this goes back on here the right way. Like that. Got it all put back together. Put the pins back in. Pretty simple if you know what you're doing. Boom. Now we do a little test on it. Make sure it's doing the right thing. 
Yay. It works. I'm going to put this side back together. I didn't need to take that apart, but it is neat to see. See. And when I fix when I fix this side, this side started working again. So I think it might have been trapped against the, these little valves on this side. Put the feet on one at a time. No, do two at a time if you can. Ready? Two at a time. I knew I could do it. All back together, looking fine and dandy, and sounding even better. <laughs> found the key to it all? I found a key to a doll. Who has the doll? Woo, it's hot. The studio lights are amazingly hot. 150 watt light bulb. You can't get that out of the, uh, the, the new ones. They're 15 watts. They don't put out as much heat. You're missing all the sweaty fun. I don't know what that one is, but it's hot too. I have a, I put a grow light on the camera so you can see when I get closer. I think the, the camera is about three or four times bigger than it was to begin with.